I played a game a few years back that was a twist on what everyone knows with Lovecraft and uh, Arkham style board games where you're playing the bad guy. The theme just felt kind of glued on to you know, an existing setup. And I kind of felt a disservice was done to Lovecraft in an odd way. Unpub 5 came along and Richard Longius was our VIP guest at Unpub. After the first night, we're back up in the hotel room and I'm like, I have this game idea. In about a 15 minute period at 3 a.m., we actually mapped out you know, what was the initial start of this game. It's, it's morphed a long way since then, but the initial design part hasn't in terms of moving around a board, trying to get area control, and casting spells by using various icons from the stars. Some people complain that Lovecraft's been done a lot. Cthulhu's around and a whole bunch of different things, but we wanted to make it an homage to the, to the mythos because we love it. You can cross that line where the game's just too dark to play, but we didn't want, we tried to do everything we can to avoid it to where, you know, it's a, it's a dark-ish theme, but you don't feel that darkness or that depression while playing it. It's still very much fun and very engaging. You're playing as a cultist, and so you're playing from that kind of bad guy angle, but it allows you to get into the role more of the elder god that you're representing. Each god plays a little bit differently, so as you sit down to play Cthulhu, Cthulhu's going to play very different from Nyarlat Hotep or, or Haster, all the other gods that we have in the game. You have a, a huge array of choices each turn because the, the board essentially is a clock that you, 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 can, you move your token to whatever space you want to go to, with the only space that you can't go to being the one that you're leaving. So you're moving your cultists out into the, one of the six locations on the fate clock. And the more cultists you have in a location, the more influence you have there, and you're able to do an additional ability. As you're doing these things, each time you carry out actions, you're attracting investigators to you. So investigators are coming onto the board and onto your card. They will attempt to do raids on your lodge, just placing elder signs on your lodge. So the game can end one of two different ways, okay? It can end with somebody summoning their elder god and winning the game, or it can end with somebody actually having their elder god blocked out through elder signs, and then the person with the, the, the least elder signs on them becomes the winner. I think the game does what I really love out of games. It creates a story. It's true to its theme. The art in this game is just out of this world. Nolan and Jorge have both done an amazing job on this, and I can't wait for people to see what it's going to look like on their table. It's been a really, really fun ride. Probably the best one I've done thus far.